Hello everyone. This is a Whistle GPS pet tracker. Uh, this is the new model they have called the Whistle Switch. I, I had uh, one of these Whistle GPS trackers a few years now, but apparently uh, the AT&T is, is discontinuing their 3G coverage and I had to upgrade it. So this is the latest and greatest. So I ordered this for my 12 pound dog and following their sizing guide and it's it's too small and also look at this the last hole on that collar if you use the last hole it doesn't go through the the guide so it, that doesn't seem very secure really it seems like a product de design problem to me but you know i i sent an email to, to whistle and they sent a new one in the mail right away so and the instructions on <laughs> how to change it. So I thought I'd do that today for you. This is going I'm going to take that smaller collar off of the GPS tracker mount and put the larger uh, collar onto it and see how that works. So here I am unpacking the uh, small medium size uh, collar. Yeah, this, their website says this extra small small is for dogs 5 to 25 pounds and the small medium is for dogs 10 to 55 pounds. So I, I guess there's some overlap. And as it turns out, now uh, I'm using it, I'm on the smallest hole with my 12 pound dog on this uh, collar. So, yeah, so I'm just laying the collars out there on the table so you can uh, see the differences in the sizes. And, and, and changing the, the collars really was a pretty straightforward thing. There's uh, just four little screws that hold the, uh, the mount onto the collar. And, and you can see there on the right side of the screen, they sent six more screws and a little uh, screwdriver, I guess, so in case you don't have those kind of tools or you drop them, uh, these little screws would be pretty easy to drop. I'll, I'll just go ahead and put these out on the table so you can see what you'll be dealing with. Uh, you, you definitely want to do this on a table where you can see the screws in case one gets loose from you. That's a magnetic screwdriver so that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> those are pretty tiny little screws. Uh, Definitely something to be careful with. That uh, that's just a standard size USB uh, charging cable, so you know no worries if you lose that. I'm sure you've got dozens around like I do. You know, notice here uh, that how that last hole is so much longer past the hole to the end of the collar. So that yeah, that that small one is really not designed very well. Anyway, here we go. Let's take these uh, screws out. Just, uh, you know, took out the, the first couple of screws and uh, you'll, you'll notice how you see it's magnetic. It just clings to the screwdriver, which is another nice feature, not lose those screws. But I got two of them out there and I started to do the third and really I couldn't grip this tiny uh, screwdriver very well. So, you know, I just went over to the, to the uh, tool rack and got my own little craftsman, uh, my little micro screwdriver. <laughs> I couldn't get it. I was afraid I was going to strip out the head on that screw. So I just got, I went over uh, and grabbed a little, uh, little better quality screwdriver, which of course you can get anywhere. You know, you ought to have some, if you're going to work on electronics, you got to have some of these little, little screwdrivers. Anyway, once I, once I got that on there, it came, came right out. So, so there's the four screw coming out now. And then, uh, you know what I did? I, d I just... Uh, took the new collar and, and lined it up and there's a little bit of a bend in that mounting piece so you really can't put them on uh, backwards uh, I mean I was checking to make sure I was getting that you know the outside out but uh, I don't think you can put them on wrong and uh, got it lined up and then uh, got the new screws going in so I don't know if there's much else to say here. Uh, this is a hundred. This is kind of expensive. I thought it's 199 bucks for this whistle switch. I did get a discount because I was upgrading from my old model. Uh, you know, like 50, 40, or 50 dollars off, or something like that. 
uh, and I can see on their website that they're offering it right now for 134 if you sign up for a two-year subscription. Um, you know, my little dog just won't come to me when, when I call him, so I, I really need this kind of a thing. So let's just get this uh, is it the last screw in there. I guess I could speed through some of this. Um, just after you get that in there, I'm going to put these on the table and, and again, uh, just show you what, what the size looks like in case you're trying to figure out which one to buy. I mean, it'd be better if you got the right one to start with because I, you know, I still need to package the old collar up and send it back to them. Um, put the little screws away for something else, perhaps someday. Up here I'm attaching the battery. Uh, with this, a uh, new one, you get two batteries, so you can have one battery charging while the other one's on the dog. So that's nice. It, it, the old one, I you had to take the GPS tracker off uh, while it was charging, so there was 10 hours or so where there was no tracking going on. Uh, so there, there it is. You can see that's the that would be the large size, right? I'm out in the in the uh, uh, outermost uh, collar hole. Now just just for illustration I'm moving it up a little bit to show you what it'll look like um, in comparison I, you know I've got it on my dog now and I've got it on the on the smallest hole so my 12 pound dog was really right on the borderline uh, but I think I think since that uh, that collar strap doesn't secure properly uh, it would probably be better to go with a small medium size if you're right on the edge. Now I mean if you're down a little teacup six pounder that would be fine. So here you know so anyway I'm just uh, going through the motions to, for the camera here what this collar looks like and with my yardstick you can see it's on that small small setting there it's uh, or mid, mid setting it's five inches across or so. Uh, of course you, you don't want the well, I don't want the collar to fit too snugly. I don't want him to pull it off accidentally, but uh, I also don't want to, you know, choke him with it. Uh, and that, that, plastic, that plastic piece has got a curve in there, so it fits nicely around its neck. Anyway, you get this uh, little start guide. It's pretty straightforward how to swap the batteries, how to, you know, how to set it up and uh, connect it to your phone and the Wi-Fi and... Uh, so they've got a nice little phone app, actually, and I use it all the time. So anyway, there you go. Thank you.